A Bomber Snow comes in, snipes his Meta Chan to get ahead on energy. In the back is a Walrus. They're already down one shield. Does the opponent know about Energy Ball? Yes, they fucking do, but will they respect it? We are going straight for the Hail Mary. Energy Ball coming through. Bang, there it is. Shout out Oxford U for that one. So today we are looking at Shadow of Bomber Snow back in Season 4 when it got buffed. It was an absolute top meta pick. It has since fallen from grace. However, without Steel Types, a Bomber Snow is once again the king of the meta. We are using a double ice team. With Warrain being absolutely everywhere, every team has an ice type count as we're hoping to draw it out. With the Warrus to our Bomber Snow can sweep, we've got Hypno in the lead as our anti counter user. And in game one, we pick up a lead against Defense Deoxys. This is the counter user that our backline really does not want to see. So that is why we are running Shadow Ball. We do not have to worry about any move from Deoxys. This defense weighted motherfucker hits like a fucking wet blanket. It does not hurt whatsoever. We are not baiting, we go straight for the Shadow Ball. The opponent shits its pants and puts up its first shield. We are now gonna shield one move. We can survive one. They will outpace us to the next move, which we are gonna survive. Hypno will survive this with one HP and a dream. Shadow Ball coming through. Does the opponent want to go down two shields? And the answer is no. We win lead. Let's see what the opponent comes in with. We are instantly swapping. Into our wall rain and in the back is a talon flame. Our fucking snowman will be taking double super effective from the incinerate. So we really need to get rid of this stupid flying motherfucking Kentucky bird of death. We shield up the brave bird in the back. The opponent has a Raichu in a very fucking silly hat. It is on Charm, so I think it is called a Charm Chew. Who knows? Who cares? But either way, Charm generates energy so slowly. We draw the opponent's last shield with an Icicle Sphere. Second Icicle Sphere lands. We will get Charm down, but that is no problem because a Bomber Snow will tank any one move. Even if this is a super effective Brick Break, Brick Break is an absolute garbage move. We tank that, no problems. We Powder Snow down. Out comes the Kentucky Fried Chicken, Bird of Death. These incinerates are double super effective, but a Bomber Snow doesn't give a fuck and KOs. And a Bomber Snow is a Talon Flame counter confirmed. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on to the next battle, we see this counter user once again in the lead and they switch into Frost Alas. And that is absolutely something that my team building did not consider. This beats the entire T of my team. We shield up the Avalanche. We try to CMP tie on the next move. And like a noob, a Bomber Snow loses CMP. Despite us being super glassy, Frostalas has an even higher attack stat. We are going for a bait. Does the opponent call my bait? Yes, they fucking do. That is pretty dreadful. But now we can go straight. Weather ball all the way. I'm going to commit both shields if the opponent is willing to shield this up, which they do. We outpace to the next weather ball. And I am more than happy just to maintain alignment as Metachan can do absolutely fuck all to my Hypno. Back out comes Metachan. We make one more weather ball. These weather balls are super fucking spammy. That lands and does decent damage. As we are down shields, I'm going to come in with Hypno and commit to the very aggressive Confusion down if the opponent does not switch out. Ice Punch does pretty much fuck all as it doesn't get stabbed and once again is a garbage move. The opponent is throwing yet another Ice Punch and I imagine now they will switch out as they realise I am looking to Confusion down in the back. Is a Trevenant, I'm going to throw the bait. Hoping the opponent shields, but either way, we're in a pretty sweet spot. We can now come in with the Walrus. We can tank any one move. And now the key is to let myself get super low. So there is nothing left on this Walrus to farm down. So we do over farm just slightly. This Icicle Sphere will be taken out. The Trevenant get fucking wrecked. Trevenant, two counters will be enough to take out my Walrus. We have the Thunder Punch locked and loaded. And Hypno is going to clutch out this game. GG's and thanks for playing. So we're off to a 2-0 start. Moving on to battle number three, we lead Shadow Hypno into Heracross. This is the absolute dream lead. It looks like everyone is hunting the Walrus. They've got counter users absolutely everywhere. We attempt to catch a discharge onto a Bomber Snow as it would be resisted. The opponent builds up to the beam and today, motherfucker, I am not getting beamed. I'm going to over farm and throw this weather ball. This weather ball will be enough to KO if the opponent doesn't shield, but the opponent does put up a shield. We outpace to this next weather ball. They are heading back towards the hyper beam. A Bomber Snow draws the opponent's last shield and I'm more than happy to commit to two shields as Hypno will absolutely wreck that Heracross. This could be a bait, which it is, but either way, we're going to outpace to this next weather ball. See you fucking later, Electrode. And we should make one more charge move against the Heracross. These counters are going to absolutely tear through me. However, that is pretty good as it will not allow the opponent to get towards the Mega Horn. It does land. The opponent is now at six counters. 
They throw one more counter, they're at seven. They need eight for a Mega Horn, so we cannot allow our Warus to get farmed down because that Mega Horn would absolutely fucking wreck our Hypno in the back. So we tank the Sludge Wave, and here's time for the fucking big brain plays. We're going to undercharge this Icicle Sphere as we cannot allow the Heracross to farm us down as that would allow them to win CMP and wreck my fucking Hypno. Hydro Cannon takes us out. We can come in with Hypno. One Confusion. See you fucking later, Swampert. This can only be a close combat as they have only thrown seven counters and that, my friend, is resisted and we are now going to throw the Shadow Ball and that is going to be a good game. And that will put us at a very nice 3-0 start. Moving on into battle number four. We lead Shadow Hypno into Knockdown. We would like our backline to get onto this Knockdown as... It will be taking super effective from the ice type damage. We are going to try and get a early shield with a thunder punch. I am calling the sky attack bait, which it is. We are going to throw a thunder punch. This will land for super effective unless the opponent chooses the shield up. They do shield. We now switch out into the walrus and here comes primate. We are paced to this icicle sphere. I highly doubt the opponent is willing to commit their final shield. They do not. It lands for huge damage. This charge move will be taking us out. However, they have not got any residual energy, so one confusion should be enough to take out this low health primate, and that will allow us to get back ahead on energy with our Hypno. Let's see what the opponent wants to come in with. They come back in with the knockdown. They outpace us to the sky attack. Well, it's actually a CMP tie. I am going to shield this up in case there is another counter user in the back. This Thunder Punch will either be doing huge damage or draw the opponent's final shield. It draws the opponent's final shield and now here comes a Bomber Snow. And they've got double counter. So they've got double counter against double ice. Can we pull this one off? We're going straight for the Hail Mary of Energy Ball. It lands for huge damage against this Metachan. Metachan is going to have to dump its energy. I am not going to commit my final shield. We're going to allow a Bomber Snow to go down. We're going to come in. Confusion down. The Metachan does make a move. We are getting super low, so we are going to have to shield this up. We shield up the Ice Punch. We Confusion down. We almost got the Thunder Punch locked and loaded. We now have the Thunder Punch locked and loaded. Is this going to be enough to take out the Knockdown? We get some lag. Has the opponent left the battle? Who fucking knows? Thunder Punch lands and one Confusion is enough to take that game. So double Ice Beats, double Counter. You fucking love to see it. Moving on into the next battle. We pick up a dreadful lead against Kofa Grigas. We instantly swap into the walrus and they come in with a greedent the bullet seeds do hit four super effective and they generate energy slightly quicker than we do as they are generating energy at 4.33 ept where we are only generating energy at 4 ept so we will get outpaced this will be a losing matchup the opponent is very much wanting to keep alignment they showed up the first icicle sphere we get to the second icicle sphere this is not a match we will be flipping so we are going to allow our walrus to go down but we are going to use one shield here just to try and get some shields down. We try and make the next Icicle Sphere. We are unsuccessful, so that was a pretty fucking shitty shield. But either way, we can now come in with our Hypno. We are going to have to tank a Crunch, but it is from a Greedent, which is super defense weighted, and they do not get stabbed. So we will tank that with no problem and commit to the Confusion down. We now have the Shadow Ball locked and loaded. We are not going to bait. We are going straight for the Shadow Ball. Does this Kofa Grigas respect the Shadow Ball? We're about to find out. Shadow Board draws the opponent's last shield. We come in with a Bomber Snow and in the back is a Snorlax. It is a Shadow Snorlax, so two Weather Balls should be enough to KO. I'm going straight for the first one. It lands. The second one will be enough to KO. We outpace the big fat lump. Actually, I quite like Snorlax. I'm sorry for disrespecting you, buddy. But either way, down goes Snorlax. Out comes Kofa Grigas. It is super slow to charge moves as they've only got Dark Pulse and Shadow Ball. They go for the Dark Pulse bait, but either way, we shield it up and we're going straight for the Energy Ball. Will Energy Ball be enough to KO? And bang, there it is. Once again, shout out to my homeboy, Oxford U. Fantastic content creator. If you don't know about him, check him out on YouTube. We go a perfect 5-0 in this set, and now we've got two bonus battles with the team. So moving straight on into bonus battle number one, we lead Shadow Hypno into Alteria. We're going to instantly swap into our Walrus. We get the fucking some sort of notification. I probably should have charged my phone, but I didn't like a fucking noob. So we're on low battery, and we are hard counter with a Metachan. This will not KO if it is just an Ice Punch or a Power Up Punch. The Ice Punch does land. We get to one more Icicle Sphere. Is the opponent going to be shielding this up? I really fucking hope so. The opponent does shield it up and we get countered down. This is pretty good because Hypno can come in and commit to the very aggressive farm down. We will have to tank at least two moves from this Metachan, but they aren't too threatening. Ice Punch comes through. It tickles. Throw another one, Metachan. I couldn't give a flying fuck. 
they do make one more move, we still aren't going to shield and we have lots of residual energy for the end game. We now come in, we snipe with a bomber snow. What is the opponent going to come in with? They aren't going to come in with that flying dragon as it would be taking double super effective ice type damage. The opponent only has one shield. We shield up the icicle sphere. Are they going to call a bait? Do they have some big fucking gahonas? Well, guess what, motherfucker? No baits on this channel. Get fucking wrecked, walrus. Out comes Alteria. This game is absolutely fucking over. Mr. Opponent, you should be reaching for that top left icon, but you are not, so you can get fucking wrecked. First, Weather Ball will draw the opponent's final shield. Second, Weather Ball will KO. And they have like a 1 HP and a Dream Pokemon in the back. And a Bomber Snow will Powder Snow that down as well. GG's and thanks for playing. Moving on into the final bonus battle of the video. We lead Shadow Hypno into a Hypno, the Mirror Match. So we instantly swap into the Walrus. And once again, the Double Ice Trap works like a fucking treat. Out comes Metachan. This will be a losing matchup. We took one Confusion, so... We are even lower on HP and we will not be able to even attempt to gain a shield advantage. We will make one more Icicle Sphere, but this isn't going to threaten the opponent's shield because they will survive and they will manage to counter us down. We can now come in with Hypno and catch back up because the opposing Hypno did leave with one Confusion's worth of energy and no help on Metachan to farm. The opponent throws a power-up punch. That was an absolute fucking waste of time. The Hypno comes in. They are now heading towards the Shadow Ball. They are now at the Shadow Ball. I am going to shield it up as I don't want to get fucking nuked. We correctly shield a Shadow Ball and we are now going to switch out into our Bomber Snow. In the back is a Greedent. We are resisting these Bullet Seeds. However, they are very fucking spammy. We are going to throw as many Weather Balls as humanly possible. Let's see if the opponent is willing to shield it up. They do not shield the first. I go straight for the second one. This will not KO, but it will get them very, very low. We do get the Greedent very low and at this stage now, I am going to allow this to go through. We should survive and Powder Snow down. We do Powder Snow down. We are one Powder Snow away from the Weather Ball. We get to the Weather Ball because Confusion is a four turn fast move. So it does not register before we get our charge move off. They still have two shields. So now at this stage, the only win con for me will be calling a fucking bait. We go for a Thunder Punch. That draws the opponent's shield. They are now once again at the Shadow Ball. But my huge fucking Gahonas say fucking shadow ball me i dare you guess what i fucking didn't think so so now the opponent has gifted us a win we can now shield this move up this will only be a ice punch but it doesn't matter we are at the back-to-back -back charge moves this thunder punch will be drawing the opponent's last shield and guess what motherfucker i have back to back so moral of the story is don't go for ridiculous stupid fucking baits because you will lose like this opponent so those were the battles with the double ice team and i can say my fucking god a bomber snow is back with a bang in the retro cup so if you built one in the early seasons it's time to dust that motherfucker off because the abominable snowman is back in action so if you enjoyed the content i'd appreciate if you could like comment and subscribe to help me reach a wider audience i'm really enjoying making content this season i'd just like to say thanks for watching and i will see you all in the next one